For Honor Gladiator Hero Review. Gladiator is an interesting character. He's quite a lot like other assassins. The only thing is that he has his own, um, you could say, nifty little package of good old movesets and mix-ups and whatnot. Let's dive in right into the moveset here with his six chain attacks. You have a chain attack called the Pest, which is four light attacks in a row. You get a little spamming here. Uh, you got Neptune's Rage, which is a double heavy. You got Wave Rider, a light heavy. Encore, double light heavy. Twist of Fate, triple light heavy. And then Standing Ovation, quadruple light, one heavy. Um, I'm sensing a pattern here. A lot of spamming with the light attacks. So I'm thinking you can link these two pretty easily with the heavy attack and follow up with another heavy attack for Neptune's Rage. But then I'm thinking, well, you can just cancel the heavy and keep going with lights. And yeah, <laughs> you can, especially since you can just change the guard whenever you're doing the, the crazy lights. And I'd say that will be pretty lethal to anybody that is not that great at blocking or doesn't even have a block at all, aka an attack moaned Highlander. Um, then you have uh, the sprint attack, which is just sprint and hit the heavy, which is basically um, a version of the crowd pleaser, which is dodge forwards light, not in guard mode. But the only thing, the one small thing about the sprint attack is if you miss the sprint attack, you can hit the guard break button and do a small uppercut. It doesn't have much, the uppercut doesn't have that much range, but at least if they dodge sideways, you can get a, get them blinded. Um, so you can hit them with a ton of light attacks. Then you have the beasting, which is the left-right dodge, um, good old light attack. Then you have sucker punch, which is uh, a dodge anywhere except backwards, and hit the guard break button, and you'll punch them in the face. Then you have cheap shot, which is a heavy just after the sucker punch. Then you have, um, well, the toe stab. But pull the joystick backwards and hit the guard break, or go backwards, hit X, what, no, or whatever platform you're on. Just go backwards and hit the uh, good old guard break button, and you'll stab the guy's toe. And if they're out of stamina, punch them in the face and make them fall on the floor. Now that's one very good strategy, and I think I might use it right here in this part of the gameplay. Then you have the skewed used in chains. Um, I haven't really used that used it that much in this gameplay, but I do know uh, that the skewer for some reason does not work for me. Like when I just pull back and use the heavy, like it says. Like when I do no, want to use it, I have to hit a light attack first, which is kind of annoying. And then you have the skewer deflect, just get deflect, heavy heavy attack, and you get a super armor, unblockable bleed damage skewer. And the longer you hold the guy on on the skewer, the more bleed damage it gets, up to a certain point. But then you can throw somebody using the guard break button while you while you have them skewered. So yeah, it's pretty good. Then you have the counter jab, which is your gar which is your parry punish. Just parry and hit the guard break and you'll slap him, or hit him in the face. And, um, and then you have the counter jab heavy is basically lets you know that you can get a free heavy out, the th out of the thing. Then you have since he's part of Assassin, this guard break, I mean, this guards go very fast, just poof, out of nowhere, gone. Well, anyway, smack that like button, hit the subscribe button.